Good morning, Sheriff Steve. How are you this morning? Well, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Cato How are you doing? Pair, excellent. Thank you. Cattle Parish Sheriff Steve Prater is here. So you've got a meeting today. Tell us who called yes, it. Tell us who's going to be there. Tell us what it's going to be about. Well, I had called a meeting for 1 o'clock today, and, and I wasn't I wasn't intending for it to be on the radio or the news or anything. I just wanted to get the, get the um, city councilman, the parish commission, the city administration and the police chief and myself together and say uh to everyone you know and ask what you know what's going on this is kind of like herding cats everybody's going in a different direction and i know they're all good guys with good motives and all that I, you know i'm not questioning any of that about any of the political leaders but uh you know what we really got to concentrate is working working together and uh and seeing what's going to work what do, so, what do you mean when right you now, say what do you mean when you say going in different directions? Who's who's in your mind? Who's not working together? What's not what's not in sync here? Well, it's it's not. I don't I don't want to get into that because I don't want to poison what the effort I'm trying to to do here. Uh, you know, but you got to you know basically you have the city council uh, city councilman that that thinks that the or that has contacted a state senator has contacted the governor to um, make sure that or to convince the sheriff's office and the state police to come in and help patrol the city. You got the city administration and the police chief that say that that's not necessary nor needed. And you got a parish commissioner that is trying to spend or has, has, has suggested spending a million dollars on a, a, um, a shot Water program that's going to alert where gunshots come from in the you know in the city, and so you have people going in different directions. And, and you know, I just wanted us all to sit down in the same room without any kind of media or recordings or anything else, and just just the, the five of us sit down and say, you know, what are we doing? Where are we going? Uh, what do we need to do? Let's let's concentrate on on the uh, the teenager that was shot, the four year old that was shot, and uh, and other victims of a violent crime. I said that's 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 our mission, that's our goal. And it's not to outdo each other, and uh, not suggesting that they were. I don't mean that. What can but, you offer to do, and have you, and are you willing to do it? And who who would pay for it? Well, I don't know if uh, I, I don't know it at this point. The city of Shreveport, uh, the police department, the police chief, who I'm sure he has good reason. Um, he said he does not need any help in the city, and doesn't need that. So, <clears throat> for one thing, you really don't. I mean, you know, I'm not going to force myself into the party without an invitation. And it's, it's that kind of thing, not suggesting it's a party. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, this is a very serious matter. And and so, you know, if, if they don't want the help, then we'll think of something else, some other way that we can possibly help. Uh, you just, you know, certainly I'm the chief law enforcement officer of the parish, but folks have to also understand, and I'm sure they do, that I have an entire parish that we have to have to provide law enforcement services too and we don't have extra resources and deputies sitting around waiting just to go somewhere and patrol that's not the case at all we got crime down in the parish it's been down for 19 years and so uh, you know i don't want to i don't want to do anything to affect that effort you are and you so, are you are a you are a man of uh some experience that's a nice way of saying it you were here when we had this issue before how did it work back then, back in the 80s? The the two agencies came together. It seemed to be a very smooth transition. They worked together. Um, how was it handled then? I mean, you were on the police side back then. Right. I've been involved in so many of these things since uh, even when I was a sergeant in narcotics and we did Operation Thor right before I got to be the police chief. We had, uh, we had one time when I was police chief, we had almost 90 homicides one year. And, you know, we last year only we had 50, so and people thought that was a lot. So when I took over the police department, it was it was a, a, 
hell of a mess. I'm telling you, it was not the police department, the entire community. And we were able to bring it down, but we took a lot of help. And then uh, once I got to be sheriff, we put some things together, put the Kettle Shreveport Narcotics uh, Task Force together, working together, which still exists, and, and the deputies do a tremendous amount of work inside the city, put together the Caddo Shreveport you know, Financial Crimes Unit, and certainly the deputies do a tremendous amount of work there. Uh, we're on federal task forces, two with the DEA, two, uh, one with the FBI, and one with the U.S. Marshals, and we do a ton of work inside the city there. So it takes it, it takes the uh, it takes a tremendous amount of work, and a tremendous amount of cooperation, and a tremendous amount of coordination if you're going to keep a place like Shreveport, Louisiana, under control. And we got a lot of crime here. We got a lot of violence here. And just because the numbers may be up or down a little bit, you put them all together, and, and this is uh, this this is a dangerous place at times. Uh, and we've got to do something about the quality of life in Shreveport, Louisiana. We can talk about tax abatements all we want to, and trying to alert industries here and all. But until we get our business straight, we're not going to get we're not going to get what we want. Do you anticipate the mayor and the police chief will be at the meeting today? Have you heard from them? I have not heard from them. No. Who are you? Uh, in, who are you? Who are you expecting today at one o'clock? Who have you made? Have you made place cards? I'm joking, but <laughs> who are you expecting? Well, I, the, I, I did get copied on a letter from uh, Councilman Bradford. I have not spoken to him. And I got copied on a letter from, uh, uh, well, that's, the council is the only one that I've been copied uh, that, that I've had confirmation on that are going to be there. So I don't know. Like I say, it wasn't a, I was trying to avoid any kind of, I mean, there's been too much posturing now, and and I'm not criticizing any political person. I don't mean that at all, but it's in an effort to bring attention to it. There's been too much posture, and I wanted to have a meeting and conduct the meeting since I'm, you know, and I please understand the meaning, the way I'm saying this, but being the chief law enforcement officer, I have a duty, a responsibility, a constitutional duty and, and a moral duty to try to make sure that we do something about violence in, in all of Caddo Parish. But it, but you can't go in with with just a few people and force your way in and do it. The Shreveport Police Department is a fine police department, uh, and they've got a lot of good things and a lot of good resources, a lot of good abilities, and, and uh, you know, I just wanted to discuss some things privately with these folks uh, that were on my mind and uh, and if they had anything on their minds I wanted them to feel free in a non-threatening environment to say what's on their mind but but we have to put all of that aside in, in politics mayor's elections everything else we have to put completely aside and think about what it would be like to be the mother of that four-year-old driving down the street, and all of a sudden a rifle shot comes through the wind and kills the baby. And that's not an isolated event, and that's not, I'm not saying that to be dramatic. I'm saying that that, that is real. And, and that's more real than any election. That's more real than any ego. Uh, if there's another sheriff that, that folks want in town that maybe can, uh, can keep that from happening again, well, I'll vote for him myself. Until you know, until all of that happens, we've got to we got to get our business together and pull this. We got to pull this rope together instead of uh, the different ends of it. And that's what I'm afraid is happening. And it's, I mean, you know, there's good motives. Please don't misunderstand. Sure. I don't know if anybody's listening doesn't misunderstand. These are good folks that are trying to do this, and 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 I have no reason to believe that their motives aren't aren't genuine and pure. Uh, but I know mine are, and I want to get these folks in a room and let's all just talk and let's let's try to see what we can do together. Sheriff Steve Prater, can't thank you enough for your time. Maybe we'll chat again tomorrow to see how the meeting went. Okay, sounds good. Take